Okay, uh, good morning everyone. I'm Miss Narita Dinahera, your TLE subject teacher. So, uh, we already discussed the types and uses of cleaning tools and equipment, supplies and materials. So, I want you to identify those tools and equipment, materials and supplies. So, you need to write it in your TLE notebook. Okay, next. So, our topic for today is a uh, continuation. Okay, safety measures in doing household tasks. Week two. Okay, what is household services? It it refers to the management of household affairs in a proper way, thus uh, making a domestic house clean and maintain its high standards of cleanliness and maintenance of commercial. Leather. So, uh, household services. Uh, household services is also known as a house cleaning or house keeping, so, which is includes uh, overall cleaning of the house, like windows cleaning, uh, putting furnitures at all at the right place. Doing dishes, maintain, uh, maintaining lawns, taking out all the trash from the house, and making refer to the household appliances and so forth. So, next, okay, there are two types of housekeeping. So, number one, domestic housekeeping and institutional housekeeping so domestic housekeeping it refers to the housekeeping maintenance in the house so institutional housekeeping naman it refers to the housekeeping maintenance for establishment so the domestic, uh, domestic housekeeping uh this cover the kitchens a uh, bedroom dining grounds and area uh, surrounding the house and then the institutional naman uh, it covers the guest rooms, halls, and corridors, offices, stairways, ground, and plant, public areas, and restaurants. Okay? Okay. Um, standard of housekeeping. Okay, the standard is the cleanliness, sanitation, orderliness, safety, eye appeal, clients comfort, material control, and Preventive maintenance. Okay, so let's now proceed to housekeeping. So housekeeping, it includes keeping work areas neat and orderly, maintaining holes and floors free of sleep and trip hazards, and removing waste materials, example, paper, cardboard, and other fire hazards from work area so it is important for us to keep our house and workplace clean for us to what so to avoid accidents and other others unnecessary things to happen so some of us also have a schedule for general cleaning usually it is on saturday or uh, sunday so Depends on your schedule. So next, safe use. Safe use risk can vary greatly, but important is whoever must use any tool or piece of equipment as part of their job does so with care. To ensure safe use, employers must orient workers and provide suitable information. They must also check that workers have the appropriate qualification to use and uh, intricate tools and equipment. So, uh, it's important to, uh, for the workers or the employers to have or attend an orientation regarding on safety practices first before working. Okay, next. Okay, next is the material handling. So, handling materials is a daily function in the workplace. Also often is 
a task taken for granted with little uh, little knowledge of or attention to the consequences if done incorrectly especially no if the employers or young workers is dealing in a machine it is very important to wear a ppe or a pers uh, personal protective equipment the next Okay, the National Safety Council offers tips on the following. Okay, power lifting, top lifting job, and power carrying tips. So, okay, protect yourself. Okay, protect yourself. Use the correct hand protection. Wear gloves and prevent, wear, uh, wear gloves to prevent attacks. And then wear safety shoes to prevent injury to your feet from drop items. Next. And so, uh, nakapalob siya sa powerlifting. Next. Okay, size up the load. So, determine if you can carry a load comfortably. Tip it on its side and get help if the load is too big or bulky for one person. So, check for nails, splinters. Drop stripping and drop edges. And then leave it right. So make sure your uh, footing is solid. Uh, keep your back straight with no curving or clutching. And then center your body over over your feet and get a good grasp on the object and pull it close to you. Okay? And then move your feet back, and don't uh don't uh, don't twist your back. Okay. So here's the example of handling handling uh, material. So, ayan, so I have a picture. So, una, so you bend your knees with your back arched inward and. Next, lift with leg, not arms, muscle, and not your back. So, keep firmly, hold close to the body, okay? Next, your top lifting job, oversized load. So, don't try to carry a big load alone. Ask for help. So next, work as a team, lift, walk, and lower the a load together. And then let one person give the direction and direct. Lift. Next, high loads. Use a step. Uh, use a step ladder. Or a stud. Uh, or a use a step stool or a study ladder to reach loads that are above your shoulders. Get as close as you can to the load and slide the load toward you. And do not all the work. Do all the work with your arms and legs, not your back. Okay. Next. Okay, next. Uh, low load. Okay. Loads that can, that are under rocks and cabinets need extra care. And then pull the load toward you and then try to support it on your knee before you lift. Uh, use your legs to power the lift. Okay, next style, power carrying tips. Okay, make sure your footing is firm. Ensure enough clearance at doorways to keep your hands and fingers safe. Uh, check your route for hazard and take extra care of platforms, including ducks, ramps, and stairs. Okay, next, carry, carry long loads on your shoulders with front and high. Make sure the next person has a firm grip before you, before you hand off the load. When you carry your, uh, when you carry with others, everyone should carry the load on the same shoulder with a uh, walking step and put the load down as a pin. The next, back safety tips. So wear the right personal protective equipment 
for lifting and carrying. And the next, lift your legs, not your back, pivot, and don't twist. Okay, next, get help with a top lifting job. And then spend a few minutes each day before work on or power warm up. And then exercise regularly to keep your back strong and healthy. Okay, last, eat, uh, eat right, stay, stay slender and cut down on stress, on a stress to avoid back injury. Okay, next, the general rules in use of cleaning equipment. Number one, check electrical appliances and equipment before use. Check if there are frayed wires, loose plugs, and connection. Never use any appliance that is defective. And the number two, handle equipment with care and make sure it does not bump on hard surfaces. Number three, clean and store equipment in their uh, custodial room immediately after use. Number four, empty dust bags or dry vacuum cleaners before the overload and after its use. And then number five, follow ma manufacturer's operating instruction. Number six, schedule a regular checkup of equipment to prevent serious breakdown. And then last, number seven, to avoid electric shock or short circuit, do not expose equipment to rain or water. Store them and doors to protect them from getting wet. Electrical equipment should never be used in a way, in a wet surface. Okay, that's all. And thank you for listening. So I want you to jot down in your notebook about this recorded video. That's all. Thank you.